Over the weekend, I was extremely disturbed and disappointed to see private businesses and patrons facilitating events and gatherings of massive amounts of people. Bars and restaurants filled to capacity or beyond may be good for the bottom line in the short run, but they are sending the wrong message about this crisis. As I said on social media platforms, the crisis will become catastrophic if we have a surge of cases inundate our healthcare systems. In Jacksonville, we have hospitals and medical facilities that are the envy of the world. But these institutions can only accommodate a limited number of cases if we see a surge in need. To continue adding to the threat of rapid transmission by allowing people to cram into bars, restaurants, churches, and other places of gathering is irresponsible and it must be curtailed. So effective as of 5 p.m. today in Duval County, all places of gathering that have a legally allowed capacity of more than 50 people must not allow more than that number, 50, in their establishment. This follows guidelines released by the Center for Disease Control. Also, if you sell alcohol, no sales can occur from the hours of midnight to 8 a.m. The only exception to these limits will be grocery stores, but we are strongly encouraging them to maintain extra cleaning hygienic standards and work to prevent lines forming inside or outside of stores. Churches, same compliance requirements of 50 or more people, but I strongly urge you to go digital. We know these decisions will cause economic difficulties for many in our community. We're working with state and federal partners to find solutions of those impacted. We learned yesterday from federal partners working with the Florida Department of Health in Jacksonville will be a site, Jacksonville will be a site for drive-up testing. It will take the next few days to set things up and we'll have more announcements at that time. We're working to rapidly implement that. In addition, the city is exploring options with our local hospitals on even more testing capacity. We will make those announcements as more details arise. With that, we'll take questions. Mayor, I guess a lot of questions are doing with 50 or more people. Does that include other businesses besides bars, restaurants, and churches? Like, say, a, a big establishment that has a lot of people? It, it, it includes anything that does not involve our food supply. So grocery stores involve our food supply. Mayor, what does enforcement of this look like? Uh, we ask people to follow this. Just do it. Do you think, Mayor, that people will listen? I mean, if there's, if it's not being enforced in terms of fines, uh, sheriff's deputies going over there, will people listen? They need to listen. They need to uh, think about beyond themselves, uh, beyond their immediate uh, health or their immediate uh, needs, and think about their neighbors and their friends. Look, healthcare systems have been wrecked around the world from this thing, and. Uh, so you may be young and healthy and think you're not vulnerable. So guess what? If you don't care about the people around you, if our hospital systems are filled with this and you are in an accident or something unknown happens to you, you may not get treatment. Well, are you we prepared have businesses, to make it stricter, though? We yes, not yes, work. this could go further. We have businesses, like, say malls, places like that, manufacturing businesses that have a lot more than 50 people in there. Are you saying that they have to close and only allow 50? 50. 50 if they have a certificate of occupancy, of 50 or more, 50 is the limit. Like at a mall? 50 is the limit. So basically businesses 50 is the limit. Are, are shutting down. 50 is the limit. Is that going to be a problem? 50 is the limit. Look, I have a responsibility to the people of this county and this city to take this seriously, to use data in what's happened in other countries and other parts uh, of even our country, and react, and react according to what health experts tell us to do. Um, and, and that's what this action is about, uh, the health and safety of the people of Duval County. Number, numbers have changed over the weekend drastically. What do we have here in Duval County? How many cases now? Where do we stand? What's our final, what's our up-to-date? Department of Health says four. Four? They're reporting four. Department of Health says four, but real, realize now, as hospitals, the governor said this yesterday as well, as they begin doing their own testing, uh, there will be people that will get positives that the hospitals will know and those individuals will know even before we know. Do we know anything about transmission yet for those four? Do we know if they've traveled? Do we know that they pick it up here? Do we know anything? Do you mind stepping up to the mic? 
you know, this is obviously a very fluid situation, and as these cases are confirmed by CDC or Department of Health, those numbers are reported. There's also a cycle for when they get reported. So uh, although they're officially reporting four, they're also aware of additional cases, probably another three that will show up in the numbers uh, either uh, that are reported out this morning or later this evening. Chief Powers, may we have an update on the five firefighters that uh, transported the initial patient that we had? Yeah, I just checked on them a few minutes ago, and they're all good with no symptoms, feeling good, ready to come back to work, just waiting on their 14 days to end. Good. Do we know if this is communal, uh, you know, how is this being uh, transmitted here? Is it communal? Is it traveling? So we're starting internally to, to plan for that. Our plans are starting to change this morning. That, that's, that, that that could be occurring, and that's how we're adjusting our plans to make sure that um, we're able to provide the community, the, you know, the, the safest thing possible, but uh, keep our, you know, uh, first responders safe as well. So that is that is being considered now. Have we had any uh, transmission here through the community? Uh, do we know that yet? Even one of those cases? Yeah, we're not aware of any. Mayor Curry, can you talk to us a little bit more about the drive-through testing? Uh, what's the timeline for that for our city? Uh, we should have something set up by the end of the week is that that that's the plan uh, again working with the feds and um, in addition to that uh, working with the local hospitals uh, with the city's help uh, to add sites in addition to that so the goal is this week would that be in a specific area at the Department of Health it would be in a specific have we finalized the area sorry. have we finalized the area of the drive-through site or are we still working the details we expect that the federal uh, folks will set up uh, around the arena, uh, the, the stadium arena area. Yep. You, you mentioned aid for businesses who are, might be impacted by this. Would this be direct financial funding and would it be, would it come from city coffers, federal dollars? Do you do right now, the federal dollars have options that we're working with them coordinating. Uh, we are exploring the possibility of uh, city dollars being able to be helpful as well, but we've not reached any specific decisions. Are there any other cities around the U.S. that have done uh, mm -hmm. done similar things like this for COVID-19 so far? Have you, are you aware of any? In terms of these... Uh, of direct be benefits to businesses. Uh, that I don't know. There are calls coming in right now to viewers saying, does this mean at 5 o'clock, say the avenues, town center, all of those places that aren't grocery or pharmacy. If you have a certificate of occupancy of 50 or more, you should not have, not have more than 50 people in your establishment. So would that mean these malls are closed? You should not have 50 or more in your establishment. Mayor Curry, what would a, a stricter action look like if people do not adhere to what you're mandating here today? Uh, we'll address that, cross that bridge when we get to it, if we get there. Hopefully we don't get there. Mayor, what is the line of communication been like with the department? Uh, direct communication now with the statewide emergency operations center, which obviously works with and communicates with the Department of Health. So uh, they are returning our calls and engaged. For drive-through testing, a lot of people are wondering if they can, even if they're not showing symptom symptoms, go up to the drive-through testing. Can somebody clarify that for viewers and for for the public on if they can just show up when they don't have symptoms? When we roll that, when we roll those out, we'll give very specific guidelines on who's. Uh, who's able to take those tests. Mayor Curry, a cleaning, cleaning in the city, I, when I walked in here, I did s smell uh, the yes. uh, smell of Lysol or whatever the cleaning product was. What does it look like in the city right now? What, what, has, what has been done? It's a multiple of three to four. Three to, what it was. Three to four, what it buzzed before. Multiple times a day. Yep. All right, thank you very much.